Yo, sup guys, it's the Eddie Ninja, and I'm back. I'm back from holiday, and I'm here to give you some more tutorials. This is my 11th tutorial, and in this one I'm going to be teaching you how to make the entity for a mob. And basically what an entity is, uh, let me just explain this to you. It's like, okay, it's like all the mobs, like creepers and cows and chickens and all the rest. But it's also boats, minecarts, the arrows, that's an entity, that's an actual entity. And uh, that's what all these thing, little things are. So we're going to create our own entity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a monkey. Okay. Now we're going to need four classes. We're going to need an entity. We're going to need our main class. This one here. Our mod uh, test block. We're going to need a render. And we're going to want a model. Uh, for our own. Um, for our own mob. So we're going to start off with the entity. And it's not that hard. What you want to do is you want to go into um, Net Minecraft Sources and you'll go New Class. And, okay, what you want to do is Notch. He usually goes Entity and then whatever the name is. So I'm just going to, I'm going to make a monkey, okay, guys? I'm going to say Entity Monkey and I'm going to finish. Now, there's a lot of things which extend, okay? And I think it's good if you know what all of them are. I'm just going to, uh, just quickly run off here and say extends entity animal and uh, let me explain to you what all these extends are so entity animal if we extend entity animal we're basically getting all the methods from it so if we go into entity animal these are already this is already all the coding and the um, pre-coding which we can ignore like can it spawn here not just already put in all that code so we don't have to do it an entity animal extends entity creature. An entity creature, basically, is basically all the pathing, you could say, like how the guy, uh, how the mob walks and all the rest. And what he does if he's like next to a cliff or something, if he jumps off it or something. And entity creature extends entity living. And it's just a lot of extending. Um, so. It's fairly easy. We've got a lot of the coding which has already been done for us. And so all we need to do is just override a few methods. We've pretty much already got our own mob right here, but there's lots more to it still. Um, to, to go over to perfect and finish and all the rest. So what we want to do is we first want to create a constructor like everything, yeah? Like every other class uh, in our Minecraft. We just want to give it a world argument. And basically this world argument, all you want to do with it, it's not hard. You just want to go super and you just want to type in that world. Um, now this will be used, um, you will use this uh, when you try to create the render. I'm not exactly sure why it's used. I've never actually gone into it, looked at like w what it's for, but it, it is there for a reason, trust me. When I go in more into render, I'll probably see what it's all about. Alright, so. What characteristics do all creatures have which are unique? Um, they all drop different things. And they all have different sounds. Basically. That's the, that, that's the like, basic sort of thing you could say. For a, a regular mob. So we want to give it our own sounds. And fortunately, there are methods for them. There's the living sound, so if I just go here, if I go public string, remember capital S, yeah? Get living sound. And get living sound, we just want to say return, and we want to return whatever our sound's going to be. I'm just going to say monkey. And remember previously we installed audio mod? Well, audio mod makes it very easy for returning certain sounds, and I'll show you where to put them in another tutorial. For now, we're just going to say return this and that. So now what we want to do is we want to make our public, whoops, get hurt sound. And this is the sound that is going to play when you hit it, okay? And you want to return a monkey hurt. And then there's another one, public string, and let's hope you know what this one is, get do you know what it is? Death sound. And the death sound is basically the sound it plays when it's dead. So, return 
monkey whoops death and so we've now given it to our own sounds now we want to say okay what does he drop okay or well, we want to say public now this is these are a lot of ints uh, sorry not these are a lot of methods which I'm actually just taking from entity living if you look here overrides net minecraft sources entity living and get living sound okay we're just taking all these methods and giving it unique sounds that and that's pretty much all you need to override for the entity the entity is not actually that hard unless you want to go into more complex stuff so uh, the entity is relatively easy it's mainly the render and the model the model is a pain trust me it's really okay but you know before we get there let's do the easy stuff first yeah we'll work our way up so what we want to do is we want to go public end and we want to say get drop item id and make sure you get the capitals right uh lowercase g uppercase d uppercase i and another uppercase i and a lowercase d at the end as well so just remember that and we want to say okay we want you to return um and we want to return an item let's say we want him to um return an item so we'll say apple red yeah apple red now it's an int so what we want to do is we want to return an integer and a, a red apple is actually an item if you don't understand what uh, what i mean uh don't worry too much because this is mainly just modding minecraft not necessarily knowing about java um so just put item apple red dot icon index and uh, icon index is basically the integer for all items it's would not use us to turn items into integers to make things more simple I think and there we go we have our entity that's mainly all we have to do for our entity in the simplest and um, now I just want to say something oh wait no before before I do that sorry if you want it to be a hostile mob you can say extend entity mob and then it'll be like a zombie it'll have no specialties it'll just be a zombie um, or a skeleton or something except it doesn't burn in during the day so let's just bring that back to animal now what I want to say guys is I'm teaching you how to mod minecraft and sorry I'm kind of messing with the mouse a bit I'm not actually teaching you Java and unfortunately if you really want to understand what all this stuff means you're really going to have to know what Java is I can't I'm not necessarily the best person at Java. If you want to watch someone who's really good at Java, I suggest you watch The New Boston. And um, I, I don't want to advertise and say, okay, these people are good, that, pe that person's bad, but he's really good with his tutorials. He, he teaches you all about Java. He, he teaches you about what a class is. He teaches you constructors and methods and the primitive types and you know main methods and all the rest it's he teaches you about java i'm teaching you about modding minecraft and you really need to know java first and then this you could say is the next step if you don't want to learn java you can follow along but you will be very limited to be able to do only what i'm showing you now if you understood Java a bit more, you could probably mess around with the code code more flexibly, and it would be much easier for you. So I really suggest you do that. And the new Boston, he's got you about 150 tutorials, each about eight nine minutes long, just teaching you everything in Java, all the tools, um, the return, uh, the all the keywords, and he, he just teaches you Java. And it's really useful. Okay, guys. Um, I s I'm still watching his tutorials, actually. Um, uh, I'm nearing the end now. But, I mean, he's very good. He, he explains things very well and all the rest. So, watch his tutorials. And then when you think you're ready, then you can watch mine. And I'll teach you how to mod Minecraft. More of just, like, what Notch does to make certain animal... Uh, to make certain things. Blocks, items. That's what I've been showing you. So, um, yeah, other than that, guys, um, we've created our entity. We're going to be doing much more stuff there. This is just the beginning. We've got some coding we've got to do here. We've got the model and then the render. 
So, uh, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you watch my next tutorial, whether you know Java or not, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.